And welcome back guys, Gvids here. Ah, uh, today I've finally got my cart. And if you're going to come to this location, which I will show you guys in a minute, um, go through that little alleyway there through the two rocks. And it's going to make it a hell of a lot easier. I crashed my cart uh, like three times coming here. Uh, and I remembered that, yeah, I have to go down this way, not the other way. Uh, so this way is nice and easy, guys. Uh, you can kind of go fast or slow. It doesn't really matter. There's a little bump there. And we're all set. And I'm just going to back myself into this little location here. Uh, this is a little bit of uh, rough footage here, guys, so I didn't whip the map out right away. Uh, so my apologies for that. The map is coming, though. I'm just going to catch a fish first. I was just trying to see what was here. More so doing some scouting since I've got the cart, and uh, since I filled her up quick time, I figured I would showcase this spot once again. Uh, I have here been here a long time ago. Um, before though they would just spawn behind us and we'd be able to push them right into the water without them even having a rod out so it was a pretty cool spot but uh, they patched a lot of those kind of things um, so our we are resulted back into fishing I don't really see any sturgeons as of yet but that's okay I know there's some late uh, some steelheads in here and also some largemouth bass um, so once we start bringing in some fish, other fish will start spawning in. Um, but the steelhead guys, those are worth $2.50, as I'm sure everyone knows since it's a very old game. And what do we got here? Beautiful steelhead trout. They're such a beautiful fish. Uh, but those guys, if you have uh, the 20 sack, and here we go, I'll show you the map now. Uh, you can actually fill out a pretty good little sack of money from those guys. So we're in that little point, just uh, to the side of uh, roads there. Holy shnikes, we got some sturgeons now. Nice. Alright. So, um, like I said guys, we're going to be bringing in some sturgeons. Uh, you're going to want to use like a river lure or a special river lure for these. It's uh, highly suggested, obviously. And just bring them on in. We see another one here. Um, my biggest suggestion for these things here, guys, uh, if you ha notice uh, the sun's on its way down, I was actually here earlier, and uh, there wasn't any sturgeons, so I did a few runaways and run away and came back uh, just to see if I could get them to spawn in for myself. Uh, and I have noticed this throughout the uh, other locations as well. Um, in the evening, like uh, from the sun down, I would say about 7 o'clock to 6 o'clock p.m., um, leading into the dark is going to be the best time for these things. Uh, I do notice that they uh, spawn in more higher numbers at that in those times. Um, that is just a theory though, but uh, from what I've seen, I have noticed that sometimes during the night, uh, certain fish are just a little bit more active and a little bit more in population. Uh, so this dirt is nice and close. Like I could probably jump in the water and try to spook them over to the shore. But then I'm just going to scare all the other fish, so I'm not going to do that. And I'm not going to speed anything up, nor cut anything on this video. Um, just so you guys can see the, the true length of time that it takes me. Um, so, sorry if it does go a little bit lengthy, but obviously this is a, a fishing method, so you got to reel them in. But I like when they're nice and close like that, because um, it doesn't take any time at all. So when you cast really far out, uh, it tends to take a few minutes to bring them in. So just try to keep your cast kind of short, guys. Um, and hopefully the fish don't go too far out for you. But like I was saying earlier, if they don't spawn here and you do not see them, um, just run away and come back. And uh, you don't have to run too far. <clears throat> just clear the area. And try coming back. And uh, like I was saying, again, nighttime is... Uh, I find the best time for the sturgeons especially. Uh, they're kind of like a catfish. They like to be out in the nocturnal part of them. Uh, so hopefully the sturgeon can turn around and go back out a little bit. Uh, the sturgeons, they do tend to move pretty slow as you see. Um, so you do have to have some patience, guys. Um, sometimes the sturgeons, you really got to reel really slow for them to come back and bite it, just like that. Oh, and I missed him, son of a 
gun. Now he's gonna go way out there. Should I cast way the? F oh, let's do it. I don't like casting too far out because then it starts spawning the fish out there. If you keep your cast kind of short, it usually tends to spawn the fish closer to you. So I'm just gonna quickly reel in so it's not too far out. As you can see, there's fish spawning way out there already, just from me doing that. And I will bring you to the butchers as well. I will cut the travel there, so obviously you don't need to watch that part of it. Um, and uh, I'll just show you what I made in my little bit of time here. As you see, the sun's starting to go down, which is nice. Uh, the sturgeon should come in a little bit more. And we're just going to bring that thing in. I'm not interested in any of those little fish. There's that sturgeon again. So as you notice, it wasn't there prior to me doing my eagle eye. You just take the line out and recast it, and sometimes fish respawn in. The game tries to make fishing active, so uh, the more you're casting and the more have the line in the water, and you're not spooking the fish, um, they tend to spawn in for you. Now I could pretty much sit here all day long catching the sturgeon. Uh, I caught my limit uh, probably within about 10 minutes or so. And that's also with a whole bunch of steelheads in there as well. So they definitely take their time. They're super slow fish, but once they get on, they like to fight. He's not too bad. Let's bring this guy in. And if you hold the right joystick down only once, it actually stops the fish from running. But you don't want to do it too many times because it will snap the line. And you will lose your lure unless you're using the special spinner. Yeah, awesome fish for the sturgeon. In real life, they are wicked cool fish. They're as old as dinosaurs, and they have uh, like an armor surrounding their whole body, which is that little lumpy stuff you saw there. Just a little information on the fish we're going for. So we've got like uh, at least three in there, I believe. I don't even know how many. I've only got the medium cart. Um, for all those who are buying the cart, um, you do have to buy the medium before the large even comes as an option. Unless uh, maybe I was just doing it too early. I'm not 100% sure. Um, but I only have the medium one. That's why I'm doing some fishing right now because I spent all my money on it and I haven't been down to $100 in this game in a very long time. So uh, I've stopped actually doing much with the uh, trader roll, and I'm just on a money grind right now until I get up to at least a thousand bucks again. So I'm I'm uh, just gonna be doing some fishing. I I personally find that's uh, the easiest method for me to make money. Obviously, do some hunting in between. But now that I got the cart, I I love it. Like I I was using it after this here. Uh, fill it up with carcasses and stuff, and it is a very handy tool. Um, it helps you make some extra money at the butchers, and also obviously throughout the trader roll, it helps speed that process up as well. And that's just an obvious there. But uh, that was something we've always wanted, was the carts and vehicles, and uh, luckily us, they actually listened to us for once. Which is a very rare thing for Rockstar. They like to just do whatever the hell they want. And not really give a crap what we keep telling them. I just really want them to fix the damn servers though. Because I get kicked off an awful lot. Uh, another big perk thing about the, the wagon though. Um, if you crash it, especially if you bought the insurance. Which I highly recommend. Um, if you crash it, which I did my first run. <laughs> And if you uh, get disconnected, all your stuff is actually still in the cart when you come back to it, which is a really cool feature. I'm really happy they did that. Because my, literally my first run, I crashed it. And then coming here, if you come to the left side there, it's really rocky. And you most likely crash it up. And I did that two times. Um, so yeah, I think you had to wait two minutes before it comes back again. Uh, I'm loading up this thing pretty good with uh, fish right now though. Uh, so I highly suggest you guys come in and leave from the way that I do. Um, as you saw when I came in, in between the little rocky things just after the house. Or if you're coming the other way, uh, just make sure you find that little hole in the rocks and you follow that down the field uh, towards the lake. Now I'm not going to spend a whole lot of more time here. 
I really want to get more sturgeon, that's what I'm interested in, but uh, I think uh, sturgeon is maybe closer to an end. Like I always say, uh, I, I'm very famous for this. If they don't spawn in, hop on that damn cart, or even just run away and then come back, and there's usually a good chance that they're going to be here again. So we're just catching some steelheads right now, which is absolutely no problem. Uh, the steelheads are worth a, a fair amount of money, especially when you load up all ten. I still haven't gotten a fully upgraded uh, thing yet. Little fishy's just right here. If I can't get any of these, I'm just going to call her quits, and then we're going to blast over to the butchers there, and I'll show you my little run here. Um, and it's been exactly ten minutes just over I guess uh, so we're gonna call her quits and this is with me talking and stuff if you guys are just coming here you fish without any explaining you just kinda blasting through it's you're gonna save a little bit of time as well so I'm gonna stop here and I'll cut it and then uh, we'll meet each other over at the butchers and we'll see what my little run was here alright so I've made it into the roads butcher which was uh, not very far maybe a minute and a half to two minute travel on the cart Back her up nice and close. I, uh, it's actually the first time I'm selling anything off of it. Um, so, uh, you guys are going to join me for my first load. Which, uh, we're not too bad from that spot. Okay. Got four steelhead. Five largemouth. Those are obviously from somewhere else. Chain were from somewhere else as well. And then here comes, uh, all the rest of it. 36 bucks. That's pretty good. Not bad for some fish. That's the biggest load of fish I brought in. $36 worth. Hells yeah. So I'm going to go and find some more spots just like that. Uh, maybe some pike or some sturgeon again or some other uh, high-valued fish. But anyways, guys, I really hope this helps you out. If it did, make sure you share, like, and subscribe. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.